Do Google Ads work for contractors in 2024? I am Lane Mack. I do lead generation for contractors or any local business, things like Facebook ads or Google ads to bring your business more leads to make more money. So today I'm going to talk about the current state of Google ads in 2024. Do they work? Are they a waste of money? How to make it worth your money? So I'm going to start with like an example with concrete leads. So right now using Google ads, concrete leads can be anywhere from 50 to $150 per lead. Now that depends on your area, um, what specific service you're providing and how good your ads are. So higher competition areas are going to have a higher cost per lead that like, like a place like Florida or Texas that have high competition, you're going to be above hundred dollars per lead. Probably lower competition places. You can be 50, 75 bucks per lead. Now the thing with Google ads that you have to know is that lead quality is going to go down over or sorry, lead quality is, is great. Lead price is going to go down over time if you're optimizing your ads. So every week, couple weeks, every month, you should be looking at your ads, making little changes based on the data you see. And those changes are ideally going to improve your clicks, improve your conversions, make the ads cheaper over time or make the conversions cheaper over time. So the thing about Google ads is yes, they cost a little bit of money, but they are very high quality leads. They're leads that are much, they're very likely to close into a paying customer and the leads are going to be very consistent over time if you have your ads set up properly. So there's a, here's a quick little graphic I made that kind of shows the price versus the quality of leads through different options. So this line that you see up, um, you know, up the middle of the graph is kind of like the, you get what you pay for line. So with Google ads, you can see they are higher priced, but they are, they're higher quality. This right here is meta, which is like Facebook or Instagram. If you're running meta ads, you're going to have lower quality leads, but they are, they're also going to cost way less. You can get leads for like 10, 20 bucks on Facebook compared to 50, a hundred, 150 on Google. They're just not as good leads. They're not, you're going to need more leads to get the same close rate. Um, now stuff like thumbtack, Angie's list, Yelp, home advisor, these leads are high price and low quality. They are high price because that's just, they just decide what to charge for the lead and they're low quality because they're sharing those leads with everybody else with like 10 other contractors in your area. So, um, you kind of pick your poison with Google ads or Facebook ads. Um, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to go a little bit more into, um, if you're ready for Google ads or not, um, let's get into that. So should you run Google ads? So there's kind of two requirements. Your business needs to be already thriving off of word of mouth. You're, you need to be doing good just off of the high quality work that you do. So if you have like your Google listing, maybe a website, a Facebook page, and you do really good work, you should be getting enough leads to keep the business going. Maybe you're making like 30, 50,000 a month of revenue in your business. Now, um, you also need to be able to invest a minimum of like $1,500 a month on the ads that also again depends on your service and your area, but you've got to be willing to spend the money to get these high quality leads coming in and to, and to grow the business. Now, if you are doing a um, higher ticket service that's in a higher competition area, you can you might need to spend three thousand or four thousand a month on ads for them to work well for you. Now, if you have questions about how much you should spend, um, you can let me know. You can you can shoot me over your service, like what you do, where you are. I can help you out with that. Okay, so let's see, let's say this is you. Your business is doing good and you've got some money that you can invest into marketing every single month. Here's what not to do, and I've seen plenty of contractors do this and I, I feel bad for them. So I'm just gonna like put this out there in case you're thinking about this, don't do this. So don't just go and watch one YouTube video about Google ads and then go and make your ad. There's a lot that goes into making an ad that's gonna work well. You need to understand things like keywords, negative keywords, ad groups, ad copy, landing page design, and a bunch of other stuff like optimization. So you're gonna have to, if you wanna do it yourself, which is completely okay, or maybe like someone else in your business is gonna do it, you need, they need to know what they're doing and you need to spend some time learning how to make an ad that's gonna do well. Okay, so what else, what else you're not gonna wanna do is you're not gonna wanna send the clicks to your website. You want, for Google ads, you want to create a specific landing page that is geared towards the ad that you wrote. There's a thing on Google ads called quality score, quality score. And one of the main things that affects it is if your landing page and your ad copy and your search terms are all relevant. 
So they have to kind of match. So if you are trying to send someone, so if you have an ad about like concrete work, because you do concrete work, but you also do construction. If your website has a lot of stuff about construction on it, they don't really match. Google's not gonna think they're good and you're gonna have super expensive leads or just not get any leads at all. So you need a specific landing page for your ad. And then also you need to be patient. You can't expect amazing results in your first months with Google ads. They take a while to, for Google to figure out who to show your ad to. This takes months, honestly. So you need to come into it with some patience, being willing to wait one, two, three months to get the results that you want. Um, but if you do that, you're gonna have some good success for years to come. So here's what you should do if you wanna run Google Ads for your business. You need to learn proper ad creation. So this is things like what to type in your headlines, what to type in the descriptions, what to use for site links, extensions, and all those kinds of things. You gotta do your proper keyword research, know which keywords to use, how to split those up into different ad groups, all that stuff. And then you need to learn how to do landing page design. You need a landing page that is gonna convert as many clicks as possible. So that's the second thing. You need to send clicks to a high converting landing page that quickly and easily captures leads. So you want it to be as frictionless as possible when someone clicks on your ad on Google, they'll go to your website and immediately be able to give, they, you want them to immediately be able to give you their information so you can call them, get their lead, or they call you, but however you set it up. And then be patient. You need to be willing to wait, you know, three months for these ads to really be, be performing well and to get those lead costs down to where you want them. And if you do that, you can expect to enjoy results for years to come, especially if you're doing optimizations every single month, you can have these things set up to just be a, a lead generation system for your business that goes continually forever. It's awesome. Google ads are great. Just to kind of cover, uh, recap what I've talked about, you need to have your business, it needs to already be doing well, you wanna grow, and you need to be able to spend some money on marketing, be willing to do that. If you do that, you'll get, you'll lower your lead costs, you'll get super high quality leads, and you'll be able to take jobs, as many jobs as you want. So that's that. If you're ready to run Google Ads, go for it. If you want help, I'll, I'm here to help you. Thank you.